Namaste and welcome back. This video is about corporate life and a spiritual awakening. <laughs> this is uh <laughs> This, this is, these are very painful moments before like a year, two years ago for me, but now I'm just laughing it out. But <laughs> how I was in a corporate environment in, in IT working in a fucking cube, <laughs> like many of you, so <laughs> or maybe some of you. <laughs> so let's see, let's begin how, how, how this journey being in a corporate life and, and your Kundalini is awakening or your you're having a spiritual experience uh, in a deeper way where you cannot avoid it anymore. You cannot, you cannot ignore that you're going through something pretty deep. Or in that perspective, before you entering that deepness, you think that you your life is a failure and you don't deserve to live anymore. It will it will be at that point. It's, it's going to be pretty intense when when dark night when you're entering the dark night. That's pretty intense time. It's uh, it's like it's unexplainable how deep that is. You are dead, but you will sometimes you'll know that if you are suicidal, you'll not even have, you might not even have the thought to kill yourself because you are already dead, because you're just a zombie. You don't even know that you're a zombie. So it's 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 gonna be that intense, and then the dark night, the dark side of the soul when you're entering your own dark side because we we kind of compressed it for our entire lives it's like we just we pushed it down 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 and it's like it just it's about to blow you just lit that <laughs> and, and that, that thing is like you know going towards the blast <laughs> the cable the rope where we lit and it's like this whole thing blasts right so <laughs> the, the rope is lit and just walking towards the blast so this is how i i see it <laughs> So, how how I coped with it or how, how I dealt with it? It is not an easy answer. It is not easy to deal when you are... When, especially corporate life is all bullshit. It's complete makeup bullshit thing. Everyone is putting their fake self. There are two people inside everyone's head, everyone's body. They dress something different that they don't want they don't want to dress the way they want to dress at work and it's like you know they put rules and it's it just everyone is living two lives there the plain and simple so they they get to see who they are in the glimpses on friday and saturday that weekend zone that that's when they understand that okay this is what i want to be but little bit that too if they have intelligence and that too if they are seeking spirituality otherwise there will be slabs of meat and jars of alcohol that's all because when i was going through my awakening with the corporate life this is what happened everyone is talking about going to game and tailgating and big slabs of meat and big bottles of alcohol so <laughs> like, i cannot even describe how it feels <laughs> because you are going through something extremely deep connecting to the entire cosmos and you're connecting to the source of creation which is inside you and that's awakening and you can feel that there's no one around you who you can even utter the word of awakening they'll think that you are going through a mental process you need a therapist <laughs> so 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 this is where i was in and it is hell seriously it is it is hell if i wish that i had someone who had awakening who had uh, who had their their awakening and probably try to at least tell me what's going on i thought one person was 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 in the zone that she might have awakened more than me or or just a few years ahead of me but she is so egoistic she's like she's so egoistic and it's like it's, it can be an awakening she quit a job and work in four more jobs now it is weird and i thought that she might be she might be a little ahead of me because the words they say they use all these sacred words and all they put all these things i thought that Oh, probably she she's having an awakening like me, or or a little ahead of me because she she. Uh, I was thinking to quit my job before, before entering the dark side of the soul, and our our my awakening process is deepening. It it already started 
two years ago. But before we enter the dark side, it's it already began long time ago. Your life is turning upside down. It's just the slow tilt, that's all. So, but when it gets intense, and I just had no one, literally had no one, that, that made me even uh, abandon myself. Like all the pain I felt is self-abandonment. No one abandoned me. No one can abandon me. If I abandon, who is there to abandon me? Myself. If if I abandon myself, I feel every, everyone abandoned me. So I didn't know all these things before. I didn't. After I'm when I was in the dark, in the dark side of my soul, I in that wisdom opened in me, which taught me that who you were born alone and you'll die alone. You think you're you're gathering, you're being with all the people, like calling them yours. It's not. They are not yours, even though you call them yours. If you say someone is yours, in the deep pit, in the the bottom line of this is you are trying to use that person. Somehow calling, calling them yours. So all these, all the, these are very deep facts. I, I understood. So it might, it might hit some people really hard. It might trigger some people because. The people who are not open to this, they they are in a different different understanding. I don't want to get this thing out for them, but I, I also want to give some examples for the people who are already in this zone. They feel that if you call someone, is like she, she's mine and she's, it's like or he's my person or your idea of making someone your yours is rooted down from the neediness you have, from that that emptiness you were trying to fill it with someone some other person that's all happens in the awakening when you awaken you will you will slowly your life is going upside down but you are actually turning into the right position now when that will happen you will complete yourself it's like this whole spiritual this whole kundalini, kundalini awakening is that you will complete yourself then you go and find the person nature will pull you and that person together it will help you it, no one can stop that once you feel this completeness there is no need there will be no need you only go to give to the other person so this will happen but that's a that's a that's like you know it'll take it'll take a couple of years for that it just to the to the point you are you are hundred percent capable and functioning the way you want it to function. Your life is happening the way you want it to happen. Till that point, it's better to stay alone or find a person who who is going through in the same path, uh, uh, having an awakening. That'll be a great help because because we don't we don't give that importance to the logical mind like other people do because we know awakening is a process and logical mind cannot understand all these things it logical mind has a boundary the thing you are experiencing is not physical most of the time when you go into meditations in deeper states of meditation the experiences you are having is not through your senses it's beyond senses so when we get down to this zone of understanding we cannot judge the other person even though that sounds weird to you but that's 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 that person's reality and we stand and we stand and be there for that person if we are in that if we are in the same path of awakening so even the situations might be different the whole life might be different but the core of it is same when when people are awakening when their kundalini is awakening it will be intense and it's it it it's meant to be done in aloneness because you even though you are with people you have to go inside you and no one can understand that the people who are having the awakening can definitely be there for you there's no doubt in that their energy can help you in that point in time but i didn't find anyone because and when you're entering the dark night you cannot see them either <laughs> you just can't see that person. You have to come out of the dark night. Then you'll see, okay, she's or she's like me, or that person is like me. I can, we can really feel that because we are fucking connected. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's the the people who had their awakening and out of the dark soul. You can see the light in their eyes. It'll it'll happen, and they can see us too. So, yeah. 
and corporate living in corporate life there it's nothing like this there's no it's it's completely opposite you're talking to someone who is programmed in depth their whole cellular structure is programmed completely with tv with alcohol with all that stuff which they think they're having a great life by doing all that so you were you were you were you were becoming like a buddha it's just starting to happen to you you know it's like that that space buddha means not not gautama siddhartha the state of mind the meditative mind i'm talking about so it, you're you're entering that state you're you're you beginning to see the deeper realities of life and there was no one in in your corporate life to even talk to you can't i tried and the look they gave me that oh this guy is done <laughs> this guy is like out of hope now <laughs> there <laughs> this guy is in fucking illusion he's overthinking he's doing that i got all these things from my own friends yeah i don't blame them because they don't understand what i'm going through <laughs> they have no idea <laughs> they have no idea they want to listen to me for sure because some things when i'm when i'm in the zone when i'm talking in talking about spirituality i have i've observed few people cannot take eyes off me they, they just stare at me and they listen to each word i say very attentively this happened to me many many times with many people so i was surprised too because once i'm out of the zone i when i remember that that intensity of where where i spoke from it will surprise me it will kind of like you know it's like that i'm in space of divine at the time it has certain grace around me that energy i have the time is so graceful and people around me can see that at the time so i was at my work situation and corporate life and but before me coming to the to the dark side of the soul or this this pit i'm about to enter it was almost like one and a half year it was like one to one and a half year i was going through a lot of shit the 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 intensity of being going into the dark side is building it's in getting intense every day for one and a half year for me i have a long time to bear i like i i can bear i since i bear a lot of abuse i can bear this too so i just i'm trying to work m- my job and trying to also process this then um uh, I'm trying to like you know whatever I can do in this thing and and also see friends in the meantime it was it was really tough so I, friends just fell automatically all the unhealthy friends I made it just they I just when when you're entering the dark side of your soul your social life would it it's done <laughs> you yourself will like you know I'm not interested in social life anymore going into facebook and there are some friends i i only go log in and see say hi to them that's all very few i can count in my fingertips that's that's few because i don't when this awakening happened then they showed me it's like having thousand friends doesn't matter have four friends where you can trust your life with where you can have a meaningful relationship with that's where i'm at so number of people doesn't matter who I have deeper connection with matters to me so and i couldn't find that i i really wished that at least i had couple of people at my work where i can talk talk about what's going on in my life and they can understand it uh, but it's impossible we cannot i think everyone who is going through this dark dark side i think it's we can just find a person like that i don't know why i don't know i don't know anyone said i don't i don't know anyone who who had a person help that person i've seen people running fucking away <laughs> because 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 i'm going down in life so everyone want to avoid that there's ve- there are very less people who will come to you and put a hand on your shoulder there are few people though but but very less people will do that because uh because society is used only for positive feelings they only show positive feelings then when i had my awakening i don't like people they o- when when they only see when they only show me their happy side i just don't like that anymore but i don't hate them but i don't choose friends like that now i want them to be themselves when they are pissed show me the pissedness 
when they're when they're angry show me the anger you just don't control it you can be like yourself with me i don't take that into my head and like give you shit for that for being a human if you want to cry cry i'll get napkins for you i'll clean up for you <laughs> if, I, if i if i need to so so i'm i'm that kind of person now so even before i was like that that's how i probably i collected all the all the people who were having pain and trying to help them and making my life miserable in the meantime because i i my 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 life itself is in turmoil so because i'm not handling it right and i'm i have a lot of deep pain to process from my childhood to 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 a relationship with a narcissist so corporate life is it's it's it went on like that for one and a half year almost it is like hell man Oh my god it's like fucking hell getting up and dragging yourself out from the bed where you, you just your whole body is not doesn't want to go to that work culture to that corporate life at all for one and a half years is torturing yourself <laughs> it's it's in itself is like killing yourself moment by fucking moment so it was it was like that and uh, but i did it though because i i don't know how to deal with it either i had no uh no idea how to deal with it i had i literally have i literally had no plan or how can i cognitively deal with the situation or how can i uh how can i just how can i just work with this thing like also not lose my job because I'm too fearful of my losing my job because how would I pay the rent how would I pay that how would I pay this and it's like it's the insurances and uh, like you know all that crap I built up <laughs> like how that all the walls all the walls of fear I built up for myself around me that I need this and I need that and how can I change this whole thing how can I like work with it and not affect it but also deal with my spiritual life there's no way to do that You, that has to go completely go because you have to collapse your walls you will do that in the dark side if that's what happens all the walls you built from your entire life around you you will shatter it but you will feel like you were getting shattered at that time <laughs> because you are the person who built it then it'll hurt you because that's you the the thing you built around you is you so it's gonna it's gonna hurt when you when you demolish that side of you when kundalini is rising and it's it's like it's it's just making you die literally your rebirth is happening you this home is my cocoon everything i built in this home 2 years ago without even me noticing that i need them was amazing to me when i found out this thing that okay everything resonates with me and the things which which i have the singing bowls or whatever i have here in my in my in, in the crystals or every spiritual object i collected for a very good reason but when i collected them when i when i got them i had no idea i just i just picked them if you ask me why did you buy that i have no answer i just have no answer because i couldn't the same thing happened with me falling for a narcissist i don't have an answer for that why i fell for the narcissist at the moment when i thought when i fell for it i cannot identify that moment so it's like that it meant to happen your kundalini is taking the, a deeper divine force is, is making you go there it's it's like it's something bigger than your mind is taking control of you which is kundalini itself it's like rising inside you and showing you the deeper truths of life so that you can live the life the way you want to live which is aligned to nature which is aligned to humanity helping humanity and animals and, and every living being on the planet so this whole thing and and the corporate life was so hard to deal with Oh my god this is just hard <laughs> it's fucking hard if you're in a job which you don't like anymore because when your when your kundalini is awakening all the things which were fed to you the about the job about about life about retirement the, they all will go it's it'll fall you're 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 dying your old self is literally dying in front of you and this is super hard to deal with uh 
in the one and a half year time, I had little glimpses of being out of the dark zone. I like out of before even entering the dark zone. In the in the one and a half year of time, when when I'm getting these intense feelings, where it'll move me, and I I want to quit my job immediately, right then. I had probably 25 to 30 times I just wanted to resign and walk away but my fear stopped me I just I'm just not ready for that yet it's like whenever this feeling hits me whenever the the dark side of the soul hits me for a few days in the one and a half year there were days it'll hit me when it hits me my whole space changes completely where I am at in I forget about everything. I forget about my job, everything. It just it's a whole different space. It's like I can I don't think anyone can frame a sentence on on how really explaining how it is in dark side. It's it's an experience. You cannot put words. It's injustice. You can't just put words on an ex- it just doesn't make justice at all because no one can explain that. And you can explain what you might be going through, but what it is, no one can explain. So it's uh, then slowly, slowly when when I when I had those glimpses of coming out into the bliss. These moments are day two in the one and a half year. Sometimes I feel so connected to the nature and feel this bliss. Those are the moments uh, I have this glimpse of hope that oh, I can I can really live like this those are the moments find those moments when you when you're when you're entering the dark side or when you understand that your kundalini is rising or uh, you were you just entered this zone and uh, you are having an awakening experience and which you cannot explain to when you can't explain to 80 percent of the people or 90 percent of the people you have right now in your life about what's going on in your life in your mind in the the whole process of awakening then you are having an awakening there's no doubt in that if you cannot communicate to 90 percent of the people you are with you're having an awakening so when you found when you found out these things then uh, it's better to save up some money in my view because i did this i think kundalini itself will not let you 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 might have fear how you feed yourself and how you pay the bills and all that but i know i just i don't know how it occurred to me that that i need to save some money and i automatically started doing it without even thinking about like how i collected all these things since 2 years without like all the, so there are some books i bought which i never read but i bought them for this being in this cocoon in this hole when i'm going through that dark side um when i'm in that when i opened the book it made sense when i read that before i did not even understand it but when i'm in that zone when i open the book and reading about it it's like oh my god every sentence makes sense it's this this perception changes and you understand in a deeper level it's it'll become your experience almost so if you are in a corporate zone and if you if you're thinking that you're you're awakening since you are in corporate zone i think that you might save up some money <laughs> because you can earn some money so cut down cut down things you you really you really used to buying or something which you are spending on which you're making yourself happy and try to cut down all those things lower it down at least so so that you'll save up some money for this for the for the for your own awakening maybe because uh, if it gets too intense you might you might want to travel somewhere so that you can get get some relief from all the things you're going through uh from all that all the pain or the or are your emotions attached to the place you were in uh, you will get that but if you don't have the money you might not have that you might not want to take advantage of that energy you have to travel at the time so i highly advise you to start saving the money if you if you feel like you're you're getting you are you're you're in an awakening process and you're in a good job or or at least a reasonable job where it is paying you good and you can save some money by cutting down some expenses 
please do that it's it's gonna it's gonna help you a lot in the long run as it is for me because i don't have to work for next one year and i don't fear either because i i know i'll find my way in this one year in a bigger scale i'll make a lot of money i know that there's no way <laughs> that clarity will come to you but before you are entering the dark night or dark dark side of the soul you cannot think about it you you are in a place i understand that i totally respect you if you are going through i always do have respect for people who are going through the dark side because it's intense i feel for you i'll send my love to you guys because i know how it is i know how i know how intense it can get so i know how powerful it is and i know how divine it is but we we don't know we don't know that we are entering that divinity all we see is death all we see is lifeless things everywhere including yourself you don't even know that you are alive you you might enter that state at some point of time in 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 this dark night of the soul so uh i don't know i kind of surrender to the people who are going through the dark side because i i i have deep respect for that 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 space and the person who is going through they need to given importance they need to given their space and if if i find someone in my life who is close to me whom i uh, i get connected to i would be there for there's no doubt in that it's like whatever happens i'll be there so it's like uh if you save up the money what will happen is your mind will ease you little bit when you are entering the dark side dark 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 side of your soul and when you're having this spiritual experience and you will feel that you're going deeper you'll feel that your life is ruining that's how you feel at that time you like you're this is it you're done your life is done this is exactly you will feel at the time but if you save up some money if you can i'm only talking to the people who have the chance when they can save the money and uh, because that that cleans up a lot of clutter in your mind that the the thinking of one thing is you are alone number one no one can understand you number two there's no one you can reach even for talking about these things they can just nod their head I'm not talking bad about them but just they don't know what you're going through. So it's all these things happen. You cannot focus on your health. There's no way. Once you enter that zone it's like it'll take care of yourself though. Your body will completely change. Your whole cellular structure will change at the time. So all your bad habits will go when you're in the dark side. Initially you might you might compensate with the things you do. with with smoking or caffeine or whatever your thing is but when it's it'll put you so down that it'll it'll change your entire habits it'll change it it'll happen so if you save up the money it's like it's going to help you ease all these things ease the burden of the crazy mind at the time the mind is going insane with all these thoughts because it's it cannot it's it's fearing the death of your old self it's it it'll cling to that identity you built so far it all these years you built it'll it'll cling to that it just doesn't leave leave that it'll make so many fears of fears will multiply the fears will become like psychosis to you almost it's like you know fearing too much about very tiny tiny things even though they don't even they don't even matter but you'll create it'll mind will create all these things when before you enter that or when you're in the early stage of in the dark side the processing will happen your kundalini will help you that's the divine force within you showing you the way it will show you the way it is meant to be done alone even though you are with people so if you can save up some money what will happen is you know uh you can you can like worry you don't have to worry about all this paying bills and it's like you already are stressed with so many things you are already you you are literally your old self is dying completely piece by piece it's dying so you know it's already like too much on your plate to handle and you if i can understand the people who doesn't have money and the worry they have 
oh my god i can't even believe that you know it's like it might be it might it might be too hard like it might be way hard i had fears of even though I'm, i i i had the ability to save some money i still had fears <laughs> like i still had <laughs> what's going to happen if 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 i'm past 6 months and i'm not going to earn anything yeah i mean there's a possibility even now <laughs> about that <laughs> but the thing is i found the light within it'll keep me safe i know that but to reach this point we have to go through a lot of stuff so uh it's my wish that you you go through this in a safer zone in a zone where people are not crazy around you it's like it's, there there are a lot of people who might have this uh be with people who are who are not supportive first of all and also fucking strain them with with their own bullshit putting on to them so saving up the money will definitely help in a in a very 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 big way in the long run because uh, there will be a point when the dark when the dark side hits you so hard it will stay for 3 to 6 months or probably 1 year but at least for 2 to 3 months or 4 months it will be very intense very 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 intense you lose all the interest in life so at that point of time uh saving up before saving up some money will help you uh because uh, once you come back then you'll start seeing your light then you know it's like once you come back of the dark side a little bit the very first glimpse that oh i need to share this this is a beautiful experience of my life where i will never forget this the first moment i came out of that dark side i i put my step out for the first time from that hole of darkness was uh literally the birds singing in my backyard pulled me back they just pulled me back this this birds communicating with each other somehow my mind got pulled towards it they both were so good they are like i can feel this whole sink of all the birds going on <laughs> in my backyard so that pulled me back that pulled me to my life again that's the first step i thought oh my god wow i thought i would die in this depression The, the idea of the dark side of my soul was depression a deep depression at the time but <laughs> yeah of course it's depression but it's in a it's in a different way in a positive way it is the dark side of the soul so the birds i mean i i just started i just love the birds so much now they just they're so close to my heart i feed them and it's fun it's like you know it's it's just something natural pulled me towards it took me out of that that hole So when you have that experience when you get pulled out from the dark side for the very first time you will see that you 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 have the hope for life it's a very you still enter the dark side again and again like but but it lower you were you're coming out of it you just took a step out of it but you're still your whole personality is in it so it, but what will happen is you you coming out will slowly slowly become more you take two steps the next day or next week then you'll come out more and come out more and come out more in months and months months you'll just you'll just come back to to your own strength and like oh my god i came back finally i'm alive dude i'm fucking alive i got to celebrate this <laughs> so it'll come to that point uh when no one can say but once you came once you come back you will be like you'll ha- you'll not have much energy to deal with it's like I quit my job at the time and when it got too intense when I took my step back a couple of steps backward uh, right after I I was in my corporate job and I was going through my dark night it was it was like oh my god <laughs> most of it was in I was still working it was I could barely function like my productivity got so fucking low but but since since I was technically all right and I was technically okay so they can't fire me so they they have to find someone who has multiple skills and it it's not easy for them to find it at that time <laughs> I was lucky <laughs> in that point so that <laughs> they couldn't find a replacement soon if they wanted to I mean I started challenging them once I woke up and starting how telling them how bullshit they were I'm pointing them out their own mistakes and they don't like that 
they want to command you they want you to not raise your voice of truth they don't like that so but kundalini raising it's not gonna i told my supervisor that you were trying to put fear into people and then trying to control them i'm i'm not gonna fear you you in this whole building there is no one who can make me fearful i told them <laughs> i told my supervisor this thing <laughs> i said i i said them i said to my supervisor that if you feel hurt by this you can fire me i challenge you to fire me <laughs> so it was like <laughs> and i told about my experiences too <laughs> so <laughs> i thought i would get fired the next day <laughs> what they did I I kind of like knocking them so that they can fire me so that I don't have to put the paperwork myself. <laughs> I can just sign and walk away. <laughs> so, it it's like, you know, the day I I left my job, the it's like my liberation day to me. It's like this whole jolt of energy just just hitting me so hard inside my body. It's like I I don't know how to like it just it's just going everywhere. It's too intense. It was too intense when I when i left my on the day on the day i left my job it's like oh my god the whole day i just can't control this energy it's too much after a few days i understood that this is just not quitting the job this is the whole social programming i had the whole parenting and all the structure the matrix was i'm out of it on the day it's kind of like my liberation day almost just not like just not like leaving the job but it's it's like that so yeah if you are in the corporate corporate world it, it can be really hard if you are in a place where it's little liberal uh, it might be lit, it might be little helpful in my view i guess if you are in a job which is little more liberal and people are little more spiritual or in yoga or something like that but corporate life they don't give, they don't give a shit about you they don't care about your family they don't care about anything they don't, they, they they want you like work like a machine they want you to take orders and just work not say anything just take orders and work and get the fucking money and buy your fucking tv so whatever you wanted tv you you're used to big slabs of meat and showing off and all that or like going to parties and whatever your fucking fake life is so that you they want you to go go through that cycle every friday or saturday and come on monday and brag about it this is what it is right so this whole thing they don't understand this and once you wake up they'll fear you it literally happen they just can't come to me and tell me what they want to do <laughs> because i'll i'll show all the problems in the in whatever they're telling me to do and they were like oh my god i can't just is leaving this guy is better <laughs> so that, so that we don't have to go through all this all this correction he's going to give now so <laughs> <laughs> so this will happen in kundalini rising because you you'll not fear that anymore you will not fear people anymore in the sense in a, in a fearful way where they are imposing things on to you which you don't like to do so it's against your your own principles your own morals then you'll stand up for that and this happened and but one the saving thing was very very good for me and the other thing is it can help you once you're out of the dark side you would definitely want to sp- spend some some time with yourself and rest you will be in a place where you're used to working like a machine doing and doing and doing and doing and doing all the time for people and for yourself and the job or everything you're doing a lot of doing but no being it's all doing 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 and doing but there is no being you're not being at all you don't know what how to be just how to exist just doing nothing might trigger you in a way i i can be just doing that how can a person do nothing so you can be in that zone if you're you, you're used to working a lot being with yourself shutting down everything if you're a person who can spend a day not looking at phone not listening to music not doing anything sit down just be with you not reading a book no outward thing just sit down a lot of people can do that just can do that if you're a person like that if you're already a person like that this journey would be little more helpful to you because you know how to be with yourself being with yourself is being in good company with yourself that's what aloneness is you are just in good terms with you 
you're you're having a good time with you you have a connection with you so but but the aloneness but the loneliness to aloneness itself is is this whole journey of the dark side so i hope this video helps you uh, if you can please save up some money because once you're out of the dark zone you would want to spend some time with yourself to s- to create your life the way you want to create you need time uh, at least 3 to 6 months or you know at least if you are good with you already have some money in place for one year that's awesome that's you know you doing very well in this thing because uh one year is a good amount of time to hold create your entire thing how you want to vision your life just create your life with some meditation techniques and plan it the way you want to plan it because all the thing happened for a good reason after we've been through all that there is only it's like you know dark side is going dark side of the soul is is falling to the rock bottom in your life whatever the rock bottom for you is for each person it's different if you hit the rock bottom there is no more bottom you just hit it there is you the direction would be very clear when you hit the bottom it's like you know once you hit the bottom there is only one way that's up going up there is no more down you just hit the bottom that's it in your life you fell and you hit it the direction would be very clear and you will start rising up very fast it'll happen and or slow so in that ri- in that identification you hit the bottom and going upwards now that's the time you need space that's the time you need you need less activity more resting more thinking more learning more of connecting to people who are at your stage of life or the the same going to the people who are going to the same thing or the people who are little ahead of you in the, in the situation uh finding that energy so that you can you can like you know create your your own life the way you want to you want to create it from to the point where to the point how you want to die from here to your entire life so yeah this uh, this definitely is helping me this definitely helped me for saving a little bit of money cleared a lot of clutter in my mind so thank you so much for listening to 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 this video and it it i hope it helps um be safe and just try to eat a prop eat proper diet or pro- have proper food i know it's going to be hard it's going to be very hard when you're entering that that zone i am I'm, i'm i to- i talked about this in other videos but i still want to talk about in almost every video uh, whenever a person is whenever i get this dark night in my head in 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 any video i want i want to remind that person about taking care of your health have vitamins in place minerals in place if your diet is depleted with vitamins and minerals at least like have those supplements on the side because uh, in that zone we will not remind ourselves to eat proper we just eat whatever we get we don't have any any uh zeal to live with the time so but you know we will we will all get out of it at some point we will get out of it there's no doubt in that thank you thank you for being here